Hello everyone, how are you doing today? I'm back with another video and in today's video we have a Dell Inspiron 3481. The regulatory model for this one is a P89G and that information can be found on the bottom of the laptop on the bottom sticker which will tell you on the left side Dell Inspiron 3481 and the reg model which is regulatory model P89G. And in this video I'm going to go over how you can open it up and how you can repaste, clean and the whole inside of your system. If yours is running a little warm and you're not getting that potential of the CPU usage, and if it's running really, and if yours is running a little warm and you want to cool it down and you just want to simply clean it up, I'm going to show you step by step how you can do that in this video. And I'm going to go over the tools that I'll be using and I'll leave the link for every tool that I use in the video description in case you want to purchase yours. Tool number one is a one sheet of the workshop towel. So you need one sheet of the workshop towel. You need an alcohol, isopropolic or isopropolic alcohol, a screwdriver set. I purchased the iFixit screwdriver set. Uh, these are one of the best screwdrivers out there that I've been coming across. These are made of S2 class steel. That means really hardened steel. They will last you many years. If you get the pro set, they will include you with an opening tools and tweezers and a few other stuff. If not, grab a simple screwdriver set like mine. Uh, for the opening tool, I'll be using a guitar pick. Uh, metallic guitar picks are really suitable to opening cases and covers. You need a curved tweezers and thermal paste. I would recommend you guys to grab a good thermal paste like Arctic MX4. Okay, with all this on hand, let's go ahead and open it up. On the bottom of this, cover here on bottom of the laptop you're going to see a whole bunch of screws there are three screws that we're not going to touch for now these are on the but if you're looking at the bottom this way is this one this one this one is like a tiny triangle right here we're not going to be touching this one and i'm going to show you why because they have a little c lock on the other side and it will prevent from the screw coming out for now we're going to remove the rest of the screws and keep them in one pile they are the same size and height so don't worry about mismatching them also, if you guys like my videos, if my videos are helping you guys to do your repairs, cleaning, servicing, upgrade, you can support the channel by subscribing and clicking like. I greatly appreciate it. It helps and motivates me to make more videos, take requests, and answer your questions. All right, now that we remove all the screws except those three, and uh, let's see the reason that they have a C lock on this screw. Why is it? And if you pay attention, as soon as I start rotating this screw, the palm rest is going to be pushed away because thanks to the C lock. So you're going to see it right here. It's going to start pushing itself upward. You're going to do this one here, and you're going to see the USB port there. So that's what it does. It makes it easy for you to stick the guitar pick in there and open up the cover. So that's the reason. Now we can easily go ahead and grab our opening tool and stick it right in here. You can see, including, you should see it through. So we can put it right in here and we're just going to twist it outward like this. And go left and right. And once you did the front and the sides, you can close the screen and lift up and twist it around and it will come out the bottom cover. You can grab a toothbrush and clean up the bottom mesh in case you need to. And down here we're going to see the heating, the fan. This is pretty clean. I was already repasted this one. I'm just doing it because of the request. So first we need to disconnect the battery. To disconnect the battery you want to pull this label off. And put your fingernails at the side of the jack, right close to the cables, and you want to pull it back evenly. If you want to just clean up the fan system, you can only remove two screws to remove the fan and clean up the fan and the heat sink. So if you don't want to repaste, that's fine. You just want to clean it up, that's fine too. You know, to disconnect the cables, put the tweezer, same way that we did with, the, with this one, what I'm doing with the tweezer so you guys can see. Pulling it out back so I don't want to yank on the cables. Grab it up, untangle the LCD cable from here, and there is your fan. You can take it after with a brush, you can clean it up, 
we'll blow some uh, dry air through here and that's it to remove the heat sink remove the four screws right over here on the heat sink they have a little c lock again these screws will not come out you just have to lose them up once you loosen up the rest is really easy just grab it and pull it out and there's the old thermal paste and if you have seen the one from the fabric uh, from the factory it was horrible because i already replaced this one i didn't uh, record it it was like all over the place so all you need to do remove the excess of thermal paste make sure you clean it with a dry part okay now you want to clean up the heat sink grab your thermal paste put one line tiny line on the main die one line on the secondary die on the third die tiny line right there that's more than enough now all you need to do once you put your heat sink down do not lift it up again otherwise you have to repaste every time you lift it up you put it down and you want to cross it screw them three four two one or one two three four they have a label on them so it doesn't matter how you start as long as you cross screw them that way the thermal paste will spread evenly over the cpu there we go now we want to grab the fan tangle in the lcd cable right there bring it over connect the fan slide the fan connector in there put the two screws for the fan and that should cover it up for this part grab the jack for the battery evenly you want to push it evenly inside the jack don't put sideways always going inside evenly and the last thing down here would be to grab the bottom cover put it on top squeeze every corner except the corner where they have a c lock on them because as soon as you start twisting this one in it's going to pull the cover to itself and that's the good thing about the c locks and the rest of the screws goes all over the place on the bottom cover again i hope you guys like this video and helped you guys out if you have any question or request feel free to leave them in a video comment i'll try to answer them as soon as i can as always thanks for watching and i'll see you guys in my next video just gonna finish up putting up the bottom screw.